from Sun Jones Quest and sorry for such a late video and not getting any more done last week but as I explained last week I have a lot going on at the moment so I'm running out of time to do everything but this is a video for what I've finished and what I'm currently working on and also the stock finally arrived that I'd ordered that hadn't arrived last week and so I also went on a little yarn hunting um, Annie's who I've mentioned before um, had moved into a bigger shop and they had a 10% sale on so I got some yarn <laughs> um, so let's start with what I was working on and what I'm still working on so as you can see behind me the extra large um, princess dress is finished um, I made some changes as I said I was probably going to and I decided to the skirt portion is made bigger from the very beginning instead of going straight and then adding I think it looks much better the arms I've kept the same um, the cap sleeves um, but the accent skirt accent the blue bit you can just see here um, I changed that again because I just I wasn't liking how it looked so I've done another change which I think has improved it so I will just try to get a full picture of that for you a second okay, it's not pinned on straight but you get the gist of it so we've got the arms the cap sleeves they're done and the bodice same style it's just made wider this is on a size 16 model and then you can see on these accents I changed them again so I think they just they look overall better and then the skirt if you can see it's very long um, but it's more fuller so it goes out further I think it just looks better so I'm, I'm really pleased on how that one looks and I do prefer the skirt that way around so that's how I'll be making them from now on um, so hopefully there should be no more changes to them this time round um, that one is hopefully going to a customer who would ask me about the extra large one so I'll send photos to her today and if she likes it then that one will be sold and if she doesn't that will turn up on my Etsy shop and my main website shop Sonia um, Jones Crafts .co.uk so check it out and um, if you want one I can still make more of that size so but they take a while so you've got to expect a uh, longer delivery time so if you want one for Christmas order soon <laughs> so that's that done um, as you know I was waiting on yarn to finish my mum's scarf so we're, we're getting around that I actually bought two balls of the yarn which I'll show in a minute and um, just to be safe I should only need one which will leave me one to make other item with I'm not sure what I'll make with it yet but we'll see but the scarf is getting there um, it's not much longer to go and if you can remember it's made with mistake rib which has been my first time but it's lovely and stretchy but also squishes down really easily and it's really soft and cosy and my mum's going to Lapland so she needs to keep her warm and this should hopefully work um, and then those who have seen my previous videos remember I was making socks for my mum you've seen the one that was finished and then I had to get another ball of yarn which I bought I've started on them so started this today so I haven't got very far but they will be over the knee socks I'm hoping to get a photo of my mum wearing them so excuse me sorry um, yeah I'm hoping to get a photo of my mum wearing them um, mum you're always watching can I get a photo <laughs> um, and then I can show that on the next video or something so that's all that I've been working on because um, I've obviously had lots of other stuff going on so I haven't managed to start anything new but now that I have the yarn, I can finish, now that i finish that as well, I can finish my Nan's uh, jumper, and barring no more ill health. So the yarn I was waiting for, if you remember, was the Madonna, which is shade 33. Is that a focus? There we go. So shade 33, known as Madonna. Um, and this is the Robin double knit, which is what I tend to have completely in stock at the moment I haven't bought any others at the moment trying to get every shade of this first and then start on the next chance but those who have been following me for a little while now know that my wholesalers has a habit of being out of stock and unsurprisingly not all the yarn arrived I ordered again but I did manage to get one other colour so we also got this one which 
I just double checking. So this pink here is actually called fondant, um, which is one of the ones I'd ordered beforehand and didn't arrive, but this time around it did arrive. So this one is shade 52. So if it'll focus a minute. Like the rest of these, it's 100 gram balls and they're 100% acrylic. But they have 300 meters, 328 yards, which isn't too bad. If I focus again, I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but I'm I'm still really liking the Robin yarn. It's it's not you know style craft, which is really pretty and really nice and soft. But this is still good enough. Um, I find it particularly soft and it washes well, wears well, and it it seems to hold up quite well. I mean, that's quite a heavy um, blanket now. It's got quite a weight to it, but it's still holding its shape well. So I think the yarn actually is really good yarn for the price of it. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying to get the rest of the colours, but I may have to just move on to getting the Stylecraft colours, which again are just plain ones. It's none of the prettier ones. Um, but I need to get some other ones in at some point. Shop with only one type of yarn is not much good, is it? <laughs> but at least I now have them. I'm going to need to get some more of the... Um, I need to get more of this one, shade 94, because I actually only have two balls of it left. So I need to order some more of that before anyone else orders any more. Because um, I use quite a lot on the purple dress and the purple dress blankets that I made. So I'll need more of that one soon. So other yarn that I got when I went to Annie's, this is a new one which I hadn't seen but Len showed me, which is called it's by James C. Brett and it's Northern Lights, one ball, one shawl. So and this is just gorgeous. See them. Um it does have a picture of a shawl, so that's how it works out, which I think is really pretty. Um, this one is shade NL2, so is that a focus? Yeah. Okay, so that's NL2, and they're 150 gram balls. Um, where's the... there we go. So they're 450 metres. 492 yards and it's 95% premium acrylic and 5% viscose, vicus, I never know how to pronounce it <laughs> but um, if it focus then you can read there we go so hopefully you can see what that was anyway so but yeah it's not bad size I mean 150 grams and it's 450 meters that's pretty good and the colours, as you can see, they are just beautiful. So I've got one of these balls, so I thought I'd test it out and see how it knits up. But it feels really soft, so I'm quite intrigued. And I'm definitely probably going to want some more of this one. Um, the other ones I got, which actually thanks to Sarah, if you're watching. Hiya! Um, is She showed me these candy swirls. Um, and I just... They're so pretty, I really wanted some. So I asked Anne and she managed to get some in. So they're by Stylecraft. And this one, I've got two of these colour. Which is shade 3727 Sugar Plum. So if that'll focus. Hopefully, so yeah, the problem is I can't keep still, so that's trouble focusing, but yeah, it's Sugar Plum, 3727. But it has, it's 100% premium acrylic, and it's double wet, double knit weight. All of my yarns at the moment tend to be double knit. Um, actually, I didn't check the James B. Let's have a look. Yeah, so this one is double knit as well. Um... But this one has approximately 443 metres, 484 yards. So it's a pretty good um, weight, weight, pretty good length. And, okay, where does it say what the weight is? 
150 grams. Did I say that already? No idea. It's 150 grams um, with the 443 meters. So it's not bad. If we, they're both 150 grams. Let's check the meterage. Okay, so this one has slightly more meterage. This one's 450, 450 meters, 450 grams. Whereas this Starcraft candy candy swirl, um, is 443 metres for 150 grams, so this one has slightly more, but I mean the colours are beautiful, and like this one, it's actually really soft, um, but yeah, so it's Starcraft candy swirl. So I've got two of them, but I also got another colourway, two of these as well, which again, Starcraft candy swirl, 150 gram balls. Um, 443 meters, but this one is shade 3724. It's known as coconut ice. So, if I can get the focus on that, there we go. You can see that. Have I got it upside down or not? No, it looks like the right lot. So, hopefully, you can see that. But yeah, this one's got lovely pinks and whites and greys. But what it is is it's a nice deep pink, and then we've got a lighter pink. And then this is actually a nice grey. It's kind of a grey to the shade of brown, if that makes any sense. I'm sure somebody gets what I mean. You know, it's, it's more of a brown tint grey. But I actually really like it. And I'm hoping this will come out really nice on site. I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for yet. Um, um, any ideas, put them in the comments. But, um, yeah, so I'll take ideas for all of them. And then obviously, as I was needing some for the scarf, I bought this, which again, if you can't remember, is the James C. Brett Marble Chunky 200 gram balls. Um, and this one is shade MC32. Um, which has 312 metres, 341 yards. Um, obviously, knitting one ball which is already on the go into this and this one will be used for the scarf if I need it but I'm not thinking I will so this will be made into the same house I just haven't decided what yet but that's the pretty arms that I've got um, for the minute so the next part's just stuff that I've got to go in my shop um, so if you don't want to Watch that bit, don't worry, just skip ahead. <laughs> oh, end, because the next part after that is just going to be life updates. There's no more craft stuff, so it's up to you. <laughs> but stick around, you might find you like something. So what I did is I bought some elastic. This is nice wide elastic. Um, now that I've got my sewing machine, I plan on doing more sewing and I needed more elastic. So this will also appear in the shop, I'll sell it by the meter. But it, it's quite nice elastic, it's a pretty good strength. Um, there was supposed to be a black one of these, but out of stock. <laughs> Where's that a surprise? And then I also got two smaller elastics, which are these. So we've got one white and one black. And this is um, 10 millimetres and it's 100 metres. Um, it's 12 cord 10 millimetres, if that means anything to anyone. I don't know much about elastic. But yeah, so I can hold I don't know if it'll focus, but you can try. So yeah, I'll be using this for my sewing as well. Um, I need to make myself some new crutch covers. You know, on the um, cuffs of crutches, they hurt my arms, but I often need to use my crutches. So I had some crocheted covers on them. But I managed to lose them when I went to the cinema on the weekend. So I need to make myself a new one. So I'm going to make some with fabric instead. And use the elastic to tighten around it so that it stays on better. Hopefully, anyway. So that was the elastics I got. And I got some new ribbons, different sizes. So this one, two of them, is 7mm. This one's colour 23 and it's 20 metres. And it's 100% polyester. But it's double face satin. That. And this one is a lovely green, and this one is a lovely red. So, there you go. so yeah, so yeah, seven millimeters. Um, the red is color 15, and it's 20 meters. Um, and again, it's 
100% polyester double face satin but so they're the two colours in the 7 milli millimetres I got then I did order more but unsurprisingly not all of them came but I did get some 3 millimetre ones as well so these ones are 3 millimetre width and 30 metres length and so this one is colour code 49 which is a lovely can you see sort of angle it right it's a purple it's a really pretty purple um let's see if I can change the light so you can see it a bit better it's not as dark as it seems to be coming out on my screen but I don't know if it's going to come out dark on the video we'll see after but that's that one. then we got this lovely pink again it's the three millimeter 30 meters double face satin they're all that and then we've got a green in the three millimeter so that's the green in the seven and that's the green in the 30 they're the same color code they're just different widths and then this is a lighter purple um, Again, if I show it against the other one, maybe you can see. See, so this one's actually lighter than this one, but it's coming out darker, sort of. Um, and this one is colour code 19. Um, so, colour code 19 for the lighter purple. And then we have white. You know, white's pretty basic. It's colour code 1 that three millimetres of the white and the last one in three millimetres so I've got this lovely pink it's kind of a almost a peachy pink if that makes sense um, and this is colour code 2 so there's that yeah. so I'm going to hopefully be making hair barrettes um, and hair bands and things like that with them um, so hopefully you might see some videos of me making them at some point as soon as I get time um, so that's pretty sure I don't think I've forgotten anything so that's all the new stock for the shop as well um, obviously some of the yarns that I showed earlier they're also stock um, some are for my use and some are for the shop so I don't think there's anything else um, there's no more stock on the way at the moment so that's it for now hopefully and I'm hoping to get some time to make stuff um, I've done my ICMA and fingers crossed I'll submit that tonight and hopefully it'll be good I don't know um, and I'm going to be writing my TMA um, tomorrow and Tuesday um, to hand in on Wednesday um, it doesn't need to be in until Thursday, but I, I like to get a day in early, just in case there's any computer system problems. So I need to write that, so, and then once that's done I can relax slightly while I finish off the stuff for my mum and the stuff for my nan. Because um, it's just, I won't have to have another ICMA or TMA in for a month, I think. <laughs> I will of course still have my studying to do. Um, and I'm hoping to get ahead of it. I didn't get as ahead as I did wanted to last time around because I've been having more numbness and weakness and brain fog and migraines and nausea and all that rubbish. So I haven't got as far on my study as I'd like to. So that's why I've not started anything new. I just I don't have time. But hopefully I will soon. I don't really know what I want to do next. I really want to work on the hair barrettes, but if my hands are playing up sewing delicate little ribbons might be a little issue and I really want to do some more of the Fimo um, but again it's depending on how my hands are coping for the day to whether I can do any more so I might end up working on a project one of these before I work on um, the rest of it we'll have to wait and see but hopefully I'll have it all done soon and have some new stuff to show you so I think that's everything I don't think there's much else to say since my last video I haven't really been doing much to be honest um, just been trying to cope with everything I got I'm a little behind on some of my um, youtubers that I watch so 
I'm trying to watch you all um, and I'm not commenting on all your videos so if I haven't commented on your video I probably have watched it I just haven't had time to comment because I tend to watch them on the TV so they're on the big screen um, and then when I remember I'll go back and comment on them but I don't always have time to do that so I am still watching I just may not have commented on your video so apologies for that but hopefully I'll find time to comment on most of your videos again soon I hope the Manchester meetup went really well, the photos looked fab jam, um, I'm kind of jealous, I wish I could come, but it's a bit far for me to come, um, with my agoraphobia, it's probably near on impossible for me to come, <laughs> um, but maybe one day I'll get to know enough people around here that I can do a meetup down this end, and um, we'll have to wait and see, but I, I don't think I've got anything else to talk about really, so it's a reasonably short video. I'm hoping at some point to get the videos for the knitting mill that I still haven't done and I'm sure there's one more that I wanted to do but I can't remember what it was. Oh well, <laughs> if it was important I'll remember when I... So maybe I'll see you later on in the week but it's possible that I won't see you until Monday. So. Happy crafting, take care and enjoy all your crafting fun and hopefully nothing's getting too stressed, um, especially coming up to the season um, with Xmas at times to start stressing people out so don't get stressed, take your time and remember to enjoy your crafting even if it's driving up. I'm sorry that's my phone. <laughs> right so I will see you all soon so happy crafting, take care and goodbye.